Hi guys, welcome. Today we're going to create a to-do app using Flit. We can add to-dos, modify, and delete them. To-do app covers basics of Flit very well. Flit is based on Flutter and brings Flutter's availability and flexibility to Python. Let me show you how. First, install Flit and import it as FT. Let's create our main function and pass page as an attribute. Page is the root window. Change the height to 600 pixels and its width to 400 using page.window height and width. To apply the changes, we should call the update method of page. Finally, we call ft.app and pass main function to its target attribute. These are basics of Flit. If you're not familiar with it, please first watch the Flit introduction video to understand its features and how it works. Run the app using Flit instead of Python to utilize the great hot reload feature of Flit. Now you can change the title, and as soon as I press save, changes are applied and we don't need to rerun the app. To keep the code clean and create reusable components, we create custom widgets by creating classes. That's way better than nesting functions in main function. Go ahead and create to-do class and pass ft.user control to it. Let's create build method which returns a text control. To create custom controls or widgets, we need to create a class which inherits the user control class. All the controls or widgets derive from user control. This build method comes from user control. We override it and return a single control or multiple widgets using containers like rows and columns. Whatever is returned in the build method is our custom widget. That's simple. If you're not comfortable with classes and object-oriented programming concept, I strongly recommend watching the class and OOP video before this one to fully understand what happens. Let's test our custom widget. Create an instance of to-do class and add it to the page. When we use add method, we don't need to update the page as add method does it for us. Great, we created a custom control. Now let's create the first part of our app. First, we create a text field to get the user input and store it in self.input. Expand lets the text field occupy all the available space. Then we create self.tasks, which has an empty column, a container for the tasks that we add later. These two are class fields or attributes because we need to modify them in other methods of the class later. Create view variable. It's a column which first contains a text widget with the value of todos. We can style it by passing ft.text theme style to its style attribute. The error is because of that we haven't returned anything in the build method yet. Let's set the horizontal alignment to ft.cross axis alignments.center and return view. Now error is gone. Next we create a row. We can nest columns and rows as much as we want. We put self.input which is our text field and add a floating action button. This button is for adding tasks. I set its icon property to add icon. You can access tons of modern icons for free using ft.icons. Finally, pass self.addClick to its onClick attribute. So when the button is clicked, the function will be executed. Let's create the function and pass e to it. e is the event handler and should be there but we don't need to use it necessarily. Pass the function for now. Let's test it. That's nice. I want to type in the text field and press the button to create a task or to-do. For that, let's create a separate class named task. Task also should derive from user control and return a control or widget in its build method. For now, a task that says a task. Let's create an instance of task class in add clicked method of to-do class and append it to the controls of self.tasks. Controls attribute of column and rows are lists, so we can easily append items into them. Finally, we call self.update. When we want to update a custom widget, we call self.update. Let's add stuff the task to the view. As you see, when the button is pressed, task controls get added vertically because stuff the tasks is a column. Now that it works fine, let's create a task control. We need to get user's input first, so create a constructor and pass input text to it. Whenever you call the constructor of a custom control, you must call the superclasses constructor too. Then store input text in stuff that input. Now that we have the user's input, we can create a checkbox and set its label to self that input and expand it to occupy all the available space and store it in self that task CV. Next, we create a text field and pass self that input to it. This text field is used to edit and modify the task later. Then we create self the task view, which is a row to contain the checkbox that we have already created and two icon buttons, one to edit and one to delete the task. Let's create the functions and pass them for now. Next is edit view, which is also a row containing the text field that we created and an icon button to save the modified text. At the same time, you have two widgets, task view, which is the task and edit view, which is for editing the task. All the widgets or controls have visible attribute, which is true by default. If you make it false, user cannot see it. So the edit view's visibility is false and task view's visibility is true, which means edit view is hidden by default. Let's first assign the functions to the buttons. I 
I'll return both of them in a column to see how they look. And don't forget that task class needs the user's input to be initialized. As you see, when a task is added, we only see the task view because its visibility is true and edit view's visibility is false. Now let's implement methods. First one is edit clicked. Simply we make self the task view's visibility false and edit view's true and update the control. When we click the save button, we reverse their visibility and change the task CBL labels text to the value of edit text field. It's working fine, but when we add a task, the text field should reset and delete the text that we've entered previously. For that, we need to go to add click the to-do class and empty the text field out after adding each task. To delete each task, we need to create a method in to-do class, which will be passed to task class and delete the task. As you see, we pass a task and simply tap into controls of self.tasks column and remove the task which is given and call self.update. Now we can create a variable to get that function in the constructor of task class. And simply we use it and pass self which means that specific instance of the class to get removed. And we don't need to call self.update as we did in the remove task method of to the class. And finally we should provide the remove task while instantiating the task class. Let's mitigate these empty tasks before testing the delete functionality. We simply check if the self.input text field is not empty and then we create a task, otherwise we don't. Let's see how our app works. We can add tasks, modify them and finally delete them. Congratulations! You created a nice looking to-do app in Flit and Python. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more cool stuff. Take care. See you later.